So, as far as hog nose go, some of the most difficult that I've found to keep are the Mexicans. I don't know why, they're just extremely temperamental. However, this one, my little, my little Frida, she has never been a problem. She's never been a problem eater. She's quite a little pig. Never, <laughs> never had a problem with her. I got her at an expo, probably. Hmm, going now, it's, man, three, four years ago, which is very confusing to me because I keep quite a few hogs but as you can see how big she is she's not a skinny like for her size but she is small for her age knowing that she's four to five years old and she's under probably yeah under 150 grams still she's eaten every week since I've had her no problem and she's been a really she's been really calm um, once she knows it's you she'll she won't try to bite you or anything like that but I've had a lot of other Mexicans and they were gigantic compared to her so I was thinking maybe it was a species thing but I've had others that have definitely proven that wrong so she might just be a, stunted or for whatever reason whoever had her before me did something that stunted her growth but I've had her for a while and she just doesn't seem to get any bigger than this even though you can see <laughs> she doesn't have problems finding those mice and sucking them down <laughs> I actually have another my I want you to fall off your little one I have my my male Mexican in this one, I actually put a, a blue lid on his container because he is so spastic. If, if he sees you in the room, he is just going to hiss and throw shit everywhere. So to avoid that, I've kind of put a little bit of a, a color barrier so it's not as much uh, visual for him. But he works himself up so much that he won't eat for a month at a time. But nothing like her. So the Mexicans that I've, I've had, for the most part, they've been very spastic. I've had a few calm ones, but a few just over-the-top belligerent ones. She's been awesome, though.